Let's think out of the box to solve this problem. I can say this is the logarithm base 2 of x plus 5 times x minus 1, and this is equal to 4. To get rid of this logarithm, I'm going to take 2 raised to the power of all of this equals 2 raised to the power of all of this. Instead of solving a quadratic equation, I'm going to see, well, two numbers that multiplied give me 16. I could have 8 times 2, 16 times 1, and 4 times 4. Or negative 8 times negative 2, negative 16 times negative 1, negative 4 times negative 4. These numbers are different. Therefore, these two options make no sense. And then these two numbers are six numbers away, okay? Here's x plus 5, here's x minus 1, here's x. They're six numbers away. So then this one goes away, and this one goes away. Therefore, for solution number 1, I need to have 8 times 2, x equals 3. For solution number two, I need to have negative eight times negative two, x equals negative seven. 